Hello everyone. A man asks his married friend, whom he finds more despicable. Those people who had been married before him, or those who got married after he did. The friend says, Oh, both are dreadful. The man asks him why he thinks so. The friend replies, I am angry at the people who had married before me because they advised me badly. And I am angry at those who got married after me because they have not heeded my advice. Friends, God does not despise sinners, for He is kind and merciful. But He certainly is sorrowful and unhappy that many people are badly led and advised on matters of faith, and that many others do not heed His advice. Today's second reading reminds us to be mindful of our obligations to others and obey God's word. As we know, the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy is the last of his letters from his prison in Rome. He writes the letter knowing well that he will soon be put to death and Timothy will be in need of help from God. So Paul's parting words are powerful spiritual encouragement for Timothy to overcome hard times. He urges Timothy, as we had heard last week, to remember Jesus Christ, for he is God, he is alive, and that he is present with him in his ministry. To remember Jesus Christ, for he is man, and he understands his struggles, and to remember the gospel of Jesus Christ. In today's text, he exhorts Timothy to remember the sacred scriptures. Paul says, Remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because ye know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures. Paul refers to the Hebrew or Jewish scriptures which consist of the Torah, the prophets, and the writings as sacred scriptures. We call it the Old Testament. Some Christian scholars argue that it is also possible Paul meant both the Old Testament and the earliest New Testament writings. Timothy's father was a Greek but his mother was a Jew. At the time of Paul, the Jewish children from their earliest days learned the Jewish scriptures by heart. Therefore, Timothy might have, as a child, learned the scriptures from his mother. Paul recalls the Jewish practice and appeals to Timothy to remain faithful to all the teaching which he has received as a believer and as a man of God. And then he gives reasons for this. First, the scriptures give wisdom. Timothy is reminded that it is the scriptures which have taught him what he knows about Jesus. It is the scriptures that have guided him to believe in Jesus Christ. It is the scriptures which have given him wisdom for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Second, the scriptures are inspired by God. God is the author, but he inspired human beings to put his word in writing and thus making it far more valuable than the wisest human words. Third, the scriptures are useful for teaching, refutation, correction, and training in righteousness. Fourth, 
the scriptures fully equip a believer for every good work. Finally, Paul calls on Timothy to be persistent in convincing, reprimanding, encouraging, and proclaiming the word of God, regardless of whether it is convenient or inconvenient, but with great patience in teaching. Friends, Paul's instructions to Timothy reveal to us the importance of God's word. We need the scriptures to stay in touch with God, to deepen our faith in Him, and to do His work on earth. The scriptures offer us not only information, but also wisdom that leads us to salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. They contain instructions not just on heavenly life, but also earthly life. They hold insights to confront and challenge our misconceptions and distortions about God, about ourselves, and about life. They are full of general principles on our behavior and daily living. There are directives to make us good spouses, good parents, good children, and good human beings, and to manage our daily affairs and relations. Friends, we are not just believers in Jesus Christ, but also proclaimers of His Word. Let us therefore remain faithful to what we have learned. Let us allow God's Word to be in our mind and heart. We cannot have God's Word in our mind and heart without spending time reading it and meditating upon it. Let us immerse ourselves in it, and then instruct our children with it as well. Let us humbly seek the wisdom of the Holy Scriptures for all the issues affecting us. Our Lord will certainly guide us to find solutions to all our problems, for He is the way, the truth, and the life. For many of us, the only time we hear the word of God is when we come to church. If we share truths about God more often in our families and communities, maybe we would see a change in all of our lives. Even if personal application of the scriptures is painful and difficult, let us strive to convince, reprimand, and encourage one another in our faith with patience. The Lord says in the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 17, Now that you know this, blessed are you if you behave accordingly. Let this be our prayer to the Lord. The peace of God, which is beyond our understanding, will guard our hearts and our thoughts in Christ Jesus. Amen. God bless you.